Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel in this video I'm going to answer a question that I've been asked now a few times over the last few weeks and I think I know why and I'm a little surprised but people have seen that I've been wearing these uh, new headphones here they see that something looks a little different on, a, on Uncle Dave's head here and people are asking did you change your headphones? Hey, what are your recommendations for headphones when it comes to mixing? Which ones do you like? Why did you change? What are they? That's what I'm going to answer in this video. Before we get started, like, share, subscribe. Also go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and we're talking about mixing headphones. I want to give you a free mixing course. It's right on the homepage at homerecordingmadeeasy.com. It's worth a hundred bucks. It's my gift to you. Check it out. Okay. So before we get started and I tell you about my headphones, I want to let you know that these headphones came from our good buddies at Sweetwater. Sweetwater sent me these headphones and they were really cool. They actually sponsored our cover song mixing challenge, which I'll link in the description box below. And they're giving away these great set of headphones as part of our first prize uh, winner package. So go check that out. Link will be in the description box below. So people want to know, what are you wearing? What did you change? What do you, what do you think? Here's what I think. These are a set of headphones by a company that I've been using for many years now called Neumann. I'm sure you've heard of Neumann. These are the new NDH30 open back style headphones. Now, I've been using Neumann headphones for probably about five years, up until Sweetwater sent me these to check out, which I love, by the way. I was using, right here, the NDH20 closed back designs in the silver color. That's why people are asking me. They don't see the silver headphones anymore. I've been using these. Now, the NDH20s are really, really good. I really like them for mixing. They're super comfortable. They're pretty accurate. The one thing that I will say about the NDH20 closed back and now the NDH30 open back is the low end and the closed back is a little bit more pronounced. It's got a little bit more of a low end bump. It's great if you want to do some recording because it's closed back and you get that isolation. But for mixing, you need to be aware that the low end is a little bit more than what's actually going on in the session. You get a little bit more of that low, low mid. And therefore, I had to compensate for that. Not a big deal. They are super accurate outside of that and they sound really great. Since these NDH30s came away, came over here when I was trying them out for the cover song mixing challenge, this open back design, I like them a lot more. Why? The low end, two reasons. One, the low end predominantly is way more accurate on this open back design than the closed back design. That low, low mid kind of thing, that hump, that little big bass boost, if you will, doesn't, doesn't really, uh, happen in the open back design and they are super, super accurate and the mixes translate a lot more in the low end. The other thing I like about the NDH30s is they're a little bit more comfortable than the NDH20s in that it's an open back design, so they're physically lighter. And also too, the ear pieces on these, and I'll let me get up a picture here and show you, the ear pieces on these have a little bit of more of a velvet kind of a feel, they're memory foam with a velvet feel and they're way more comfortable than the NDH20s. The NDH20s weren't super uncomfortable, they weren't, but after two or three hours of wearing them, I felt them on my head a little bit more, I think more because of the weight, and it looks like the earpieces are the same as the NDH30s, but they're not. It's it's a memory foam, they're soft and they're comfortable. It's not like a leather or a, or a faux leather, but it doesn't have that same kind of comfort to me on the earpieces, the NDH30s. These are a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more fuzzy feeling. You don't sweat in them. They're a little more comfortable. And because they're lighter due to the open back design, you can wear them forever and you never feel like you have headphones on your head. And I also like the fact that they're black and not silver, although you can get the NDH20s in both black and silver or the NDH30s in black or silver. Now the NDH30s are a little bit more. They're about a hundred bucks more than the 20s. So if you're looking for a great set of headphones in the studio, especially for mixing, I recommend the NDH30s. If you're looking for something that's really great for mixing, but you also want to be able to use it for recording stuff and you don't want to worry about the open back design and get the headphone bleed, the NDH20s are great as well. I mixed on them for many, many years. And comparing the NDH30s to headphones that are two and a half times this price, these things sound excellent. I compared these to a set of Focal, I think they're called the Clear Professionals. They're like $1,500, $1,600. These things sound, to me, equally as good as those for almost a third of the price. And I love Focal, I have Focal monitors, I have the Focal trios, and I love Focal, I've been using Focal forever. These headphones are, to me, as good as those $1,500, $1,600 Focals, and that's the truth. I used them both and I sent back the Focals. These things are awesome. So I'm gonna link these in the description box below so you can check them out at Sweetwater. And again, that's an affiliate link. 
Thanks so much in advance for checking that out. But if you're looking for a really good set of mixing headphones that translate well, I think you'll really like the NDH30s. They're super comfortable, super accurate. I've been using Neumann headphones, like I said, for probably four or five years, and I've yet to hear a headphone um, that sounds better than these really at any price point, and I've checked out a lot of them, okay? So people have asked me, that's what I use. I use the Neumanns, they're fantastic. Go check them out at Sweetwater. I know you're gonna love them. Now, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. As I said at the beginning, I want you to go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com because I wanna give you that free mixing course, okay? It's a $100 mixing course, just download it. No strings attached, it's all yours, absolutely free. Once you take that course, if you dig Uncle Dave's style of teaching and you want to take one of my other full feature training courses, I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. That coupon code is YouTube25. Just put that in at checkout. It'll take 25% off anything on the website. So all the links will be in the description box below. Thank you so much to Sweetwater and to Neumann for sponsoring the Cover Song Mixing Challenge. If you want to know what that's all about, you can check, click the link in the description box below. And until the next video, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.